totally on, honest here. Um, you know, Chris, I noticed that they're talking like really enthusiastically about Pokemon Go and everything. Do you think maybe they're just putting off the second half of this conversation today? You know what? <laughs> I think they I, are. No, just trying you to mean this is the second half of this conversation? No, I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> I think you might be honest that something is a there, di- That's a dirty, dirty accusation. Uh-huh. I feel like that's the smartest thing you've ever Cause, said. Because <laughs> he knows we can't go much longer than an hour and a half, so he knows if we get far He's enough. He's waiting out the clock. We'll just have to wait, I, go to the I am week. not. That's, uh, that is a lie. <laughs> okay, do we have anything else on Pokemon Go? Um, That's a No. Okay. I evolved a Charizard. Nobody cares. I have a Charizard. No, okay. No, no, I care because I don't find Charmanders anywhere. Really? Like, I find Bulbasaur's and Squirtle's everywhere. They Charmander's do, nowhere. They do pop around here. I mean, that's the thing is that, I mean, you know, my 141 has mostly been caught around here. It has mostly been caught in the Safari that's Zone. Ridiculous. It is I mean, ridiculous. Caught, like, out of, I have like 85 Bul- Bulbasaur candies, I have 27 Charmander candies. And uh, hey guys, how many uh, Metal Gear Survive candies do you have? <laughs> how, how many of those have been hatched, Nika? Uh, <laughs> the, the, uh-huh. the Charmanders. Uh-huh. I hatched one Charmander and they gave me eight candies. So okay. take off 27 minus 8, 19. So I mean, and I found like two Charmanders around here, the rest of are... <sighs> Okay, all right. And I've only found two Pikachus ever. Hey guys, let's, uh, let's let's report on some gaming news and not Pokemon Go news. This is Final Encounter Cast, not Final Pokemon Go Cast. Okay. I don't know what you're talking. I don't think we actually have any other news. Do we want to read emails? I think we should read emails. Do we have any calls? Mm. Gamecom 2016. Konami announces. Metal Gear Survive. You guys are the Metal Gear fanatics. <laughs> How are you guys not excited about this? Let's. Can we bring up the trailer? Let's bring up the trailer. Oh, I'm do super we, into this. Do we have to? We've got to see this trailer. Do we? I haven't seen it yet. I'm super it excited. It looks really cool. Really? Yeah. Okay. It's going to be great. I don't want to spoil anything, but I already did. All right. All right. <laughs> uh, yeah. All right. So we've got the you know, the trailer here. Peggy 18. Peggy 18. Yeah. This was all a part of a totally, like, reasonably good game. This looks like a really good game. No, this part does not. Any part does not. Look, well, the part that was look, the directly got- excerpted from Ground Zeroes is fine. We've got a <laughs> snake. We got some snakes flying around. I think. Yeah, where's that guy going? Uh oh, what's going on? We're getting sucked into a wormhole! Oh no, a portal! What? No! Oh man. I can't just close my eyes. Um. <laughs> no! Crustal zombies! At least he's a pipe. Uh, this makes me. Ugh. You gotta see this. Wait, they gotta get back home. Yeah, okay. How are they gonna get home? Look at this, there's four people. It's almost like they're left for dead. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> we have to fight. That together. was sweet. Look at that. Actually, that was Dude's head cool. explode. Oh my gosh, look at that awesome bow and arrow. Right? That was so cool. How the bow awesome. and arrow isn't bad. I wouldn't mind using that in a Metal Gear game. How awesome would it be if you like could play with your other friends in Metal Gear together? <laughs> Have you done that before in a Metal Gear game? Yes, oh, it's, it's called oh, Walker. Coming 2017. Uh, so... Do we, what, do you, what do you think about it? You're speechless, I know. Can we just re-air the Konami call that we had made? <laughs> Is that possible? No! Don't flash back! I feel like... I feel like... Nailed it! I need to call Luke because I need an explanation on this. Man. What, what happened here? He got promoted, right? He had to have. I think he probably was the lead writer, all actually. Of, he's making all of the marketing decisions. Can now. we see the credits? He might be the lead writer on that. <laughs> I don't know, because, like, uh, I, I'm at a point with Metal Gear where it's, like, it's so big, I don't really know where I could jump into the series, but this looks very accessible. Get out. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, 
I bet I, th- I feel like I'm going to start playing Metal Gear now. So Especially if I one. can play with Robbie. Yeah. You want to play with Ka- yeah, uh, Callie? We, we can play together. Right. Then uh, we'll find out if all Nate, the other ones are like it. Nate, do you want to play? You want to be our fourth? It can, it's cool. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, this see, is going to be amazing. Do, do you see where my hand is moving? Do you see? <laughs> what are you doing, buddy? Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Do we want to? I mean, I'll I'll turn you off for the rest of the show. <laughs> Come on. There you go. <laughs> oh, you really stepped in it, Mike. The thing that bothers me even you want me more to, is no, the not fact a drop. That you want me? To, I'll I'll kill the drops too. I assume you've already killed the drops. So. <laughs> is that the fact that they didn't just make it like an alternate what if? Like, oh hey, what if the bomb turned everyone into zombies instead of killing them? It's no. The bomb actually opens a portal That's to so another cool. world, and it sucks. Right. This is canon. Yeah, this is it's the canon a, ending. The fact the that, that make it canon is by opening a portal the, rather than just saying what if they turn into zombies. The fact that yeah, the fact that they have tacked on the scene from Ground Zeroes on the on the front of it means that they have added it to the canon. It is. It's a, and the thing is, is I when they said alternate universe, I honestly thought it was going to be legitimately like what if, like an alternate, like not canon alternate of hey, instead of the bomb killing everyone, guess what, guys? They really turn into zombies, and you can treat it as. As not canon. Like I, I get that Kojima's great, but I'm glad exists. that they have the bravery to take it in another direction. It's now because this wormhole exists, they're trying to make it canon, and that 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 bothers me. Okay. Well, yeah. I, no, I, you're not getting a microphone <laughs> back. <laughs> okay, but what if? No. This was no, Kojima's no, vision. It wasn't. Oh and they're just furthering his vision because it absolutely know, wasn't. Nobody okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna Kojima play works. devil's advocate here for a moment. Okay. One of my friends, as also super, super, super into Metal Gear, mm-hmm. pointed out that that if Kojima had not left Konami, he would actually expect something like this, simply because with Kojima's recent obsession with Walking Dead and the actors from that, and the fact that you know he's super into zombies himself, uh-huh. that if Kojima had produced this, would the backlash be as bad? <laughs> because he says he would honestly if Kojima was still a part of it you know how he says he doesn't want more Metal Gear he actually would expect this from Kojima I don't know I mean Is Kojima, it Kojima presents Kojima. Kojima presents a certain level of insane but this seems less insane than it does like an attempt to pivot the series to what they already know they can produce right like the konami konami knows that it can produce this type of game and let's be honest like this type of game is far easier to produce than something that kind of thinks a little bit outside the box like metal gear has in the past right so Given that, like, you like, there's a mid, there's a million games who operate exactly like this, team based zombie survival, right? Like, mm-hmm. that's a very, very tried and zombies true. in Spaceland. <laughs> what it feels, what it feels like to me, is they had the assets from the Fox engine. And the Fox engine is so malleable because Konami got to keep all of the work associated with the Fox engine. And with the Fox engine being so malleable that they were able to take the pre-built assets that Kojima had built for the Fox engine and were just able... They basically took... Uh, you know, another a, 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 a whole nother game, and just pasted this on top of it. Called it Metal Gear, and said, "Hey, this is the same same game, same game series, right? Yeah, we totally got this." Like it seems less like a creatively driven decision, which it would have been had Kojima been at the helm, and much more of a craven cash grab to say, "Hey, like we still we still know what we're doing here." Like we still we still want to be able to sell as many units as Metal Gear Solid Five, and it's telling that this is the only franchise that they seem to want to continue. None of the Silent Hill games are being continued. None of the Castlevania games are being continued. Why is it Metal Gear no, Solid? Why is it Metal Gear Survive? Because they just made a boatload of money on Metal Gear Solid Five. It's almost like. If Square Enix took the Final Fantasy series and started making it less and less like an RPG game, 
<laughs> oh. What? Wait, what oh, wait. Wait a minute. <laughs> They're but doing this, that. You know, somebody tried to pour, bring that out to me as a way to counteract how Final Fantasy games can still be good so Metal Gear Survive can still be good. There is a very, very big difference between Final Fantasy trying something new, having the same core elements of an RPG, having the core elements of Final Fantasy, and taking Metal Gear and changing it into a completely different genre of game. It's still an FPS. There's a very big difference. <laughs> You still shoot people. They okay. I, I, you know, I want to give you back a mic, but I, you need to be able to use it responsibly. <laughs> <laughs> Can you do that? Can I trust you with that, Chris? I always speak responsibly. No, you don't. <laughs> no. That is... I a think that is a lie. Responsibility and Chris just go hand in hand. Yeah. All right, we're going to try giving you back a microphone. Welcome back. <laughs> I was talking to myself. Yeah. I, apparently. It seems like they're just jumping on the bandwagon of all the zombie shit. It does. So I, what I don't understand is, like, this is not a Metal Gear game. They should have given it its own IP and its own name and called it called it. Right! A yes, exactly. It's a new game. They should name it as such, but instead they're like, nope, I'm going to put Snake in it for five seconds and sell money. Sell, make money. Well, but, all like, the if they don't call it Metal Gear, like, are they still okay to use the Fox engine and stuff? Like, because I think people would just be like, wait a minute, this is just the Fox engine. I, uh, that's what I think. I think that they, they that I at this point I think Konami is so creatively bankrupt that they can't even begin to like generate new assets for a new IP. They're just they have all of these assets and the Fox engine left over from Kojima's time there and they're like, well, this we could make games out of this, but then it has to be a Metal Gear Solid game. I, I just it's stupid it is it is really really stupid and again i just i feel like there is a, a there is a creatively bankrupt part of this where they are it, it it's i i don't know what it is like this is the strangest decision in 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 gaming the gaming really industry wondering. that i can name in a long time i'm just really wondering though that if kojima had produced this would we be as upset would you be as upset if, if kojima made this Mm. Asking you straight up, if Kojima made this and said, I like zombies, guys, because Walking Dead is cool, have it in your Metal Gear. What would you say? I think he'd be okay with it. More okay <laughs> with it, anyway. Yeah, yeah I'd be more... I, I would at least give it the benefit of the doubt. I mean, it would probably... I feel like it is more likely to have some of the core elements of a Metal Gear if he was producing it. I mean, Konami all of a sudden then jumps back and says, oh, the trailer doesn't show it, guys, but there will be stealthy people. Look, I, I, see? Look, I'm, uh, look, I, I, for as much of a Metal Gear fan as I am, it's not like there aren't games in the series that I didn't like. I was not a fan of Rising, and it what? has. I was not a fan of Rising. <laughs> oh, the game was good. I, it, it's the one that I have replayed the least amount of times. I've only ever played through it once, I, I, and it just it didn't do a whole lot for me. Right, like it, it was I so. Mean, it was. It was different. It was very different, and it's not what I wanted from the Metal Gear franchise, and that's is, fine. But the thing is, is that was also, I mean, that's fair. That's a different genre. It was yes. action, hack and slash, or whatever. Had some stealth elements, but not much. Um, but it still had a lot of core elements, like the, the grand bosses, the epic yes. music, like the characters, the story. But was it was still, its own you know, but, thing, yeah. But are, are we going to say that Metal Gear Survive couldn't be that? Revengeance was very different, yet it's still widely accepted as part of the canon Metal Gear. You're right. Um, so what makes this different? The fact that Kojima's name is not on it, I think that's the primary. That's going to be the primary sticking point. Okay, so what's the one with Senator Armstrong? Because that's the best that, one. That's rising. Oh, that's the best one. I love it. <laughs> okay, so would what if like what would your ideal Metal Gear trailer be then? Because I feel like it feels like no matter what Konami put out, no, because no, because the Kojima no. Kojima's name isn't on it, according I can tell to you Nate. One thing that every single person would buy right now if Konami decided to do this instead is just remake fucking Metal Gear Solid Three in the yeah. boxes. Instant money from every Metal Gear fan. Yes. Ever. Yes. Oh, now we're back to remakes. Well, no. <laughs> If, yeah, if you don't, serious. Metal Gear Solid 3 is so great and so widely renowned as the best Metal Gear. Every single Metal Gear fan loves Metal Gear Solid 3. All they have to do is is remake that in Fox Engine. They would Fuck, print money and you, they would have no complaints say from Say a fucking word. From say a word. Say it. Say something. Say something. Something. Bye. <laughs> I have a question. I, I'm, 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 I'll throw you out of the uh, room. How? Look, because there's, there's, a, there's a very real 
fucking point here. Go ahead. How long do these games usually... T- how long does it take to make these games usually? Long time. Okay, so it wasn't too long ago that it was announced that uh, Kojima was leaving, right? Yeah. Do you think they might have wanted him to go down this road and he didn't want to and that is the maybe one of the causes of the ugly breakup? Mm, no, because, I mean... If, I mean, Kojima does like zombies, so I don't know. I mean, that's... But, but then again, that might be where the skulls come from, is him integrating zombie-like behaviors into the game. Most... Look, most reports from... The, uh, of the Konami-Kojima mm-hmm. split uh, attribute that to the amount of money that he had spent on Metal Gear Solid 5's development. And a lot... And most he of... a lot of copyrights for yes. songs he never even ended up using yes. in the game. Yes, exactly. <laughs> Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> so it did, and oh. it and it drove the cost up a lot, and that was reportedly what had strained, th- uh, that had created tensions oh. between, uh, you know, between the two parties. Um, but you know, like, I, and thanks, thanks, Chris. You fucking you made me lose my point. I had a real good point to add, and well, what was it? I don't remember because you were sitting there trying to be a smart ass, and then I had to try to well, do I an end run point. around you. I had a great point. No, too. you didn't. And you had a you waste. No, me. you had a waste <laughs> of time. Is what you had. It was a perfect point. It, it was a waste of time. I do remember my point. <laughs> he, uh, Nika had brought up, uh, you know, remaking Metal Gear Solid Three. Really, remaking any of the games in the earlier portion of the franchise, because that would have done a couple of things. Okay, Konami could have come out and done some real meaningful damage control there, and been like, "Look, we understand that we lost the spiritual heart of this series, but we want to try to recapture that, and we want to try." to get a good team on it so what we're going to do is we're going to work with what we've already been given through the series and do i mean because nika's right when you see the screens and you see some of the video from the fox engine rendered metal gear solid three scenes they're like the, the, and they use it for pachinko instead yes <laughs> Which, i mean i want to play the pachinko simply because they use the scene with the boss like that makes me want to play the pachinko and if i want to play fucking pachinko because they made metal gear and fox engine imagine how much money i would throw at them to fucking buy the actual game and they are stupid for not taking advantage of this and i'm so freaking angry and it's different <laughs> it's different from the remaster the remaster it was literally a texture you know it got a texture bump and a resolution bump and all of those things but redoing the whole thing in the Fox engine would be a great exercise for whatever team you decided that was going to take on the Metal Gear Solid mantle to make sure that they could do it right that would be something that would have actually like done something with the Metal Gear Solid fan base and engaged the Metal Gear Solid fan base and a lot of people would have seen it and gone Eh, and blown it off but i actually if they had done a good enough job with it and it and when it came out it wasn't garbage i think that they would have they would have made a lot of ground there instead what they've done with survive is they've made it the most generic thing i've ever seen and the one thing that is you never have ever heard anyone used to describe Metal Gear in its entire existence has been the word generic. Mm-hmm. That bothers me. That 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 That's to a me, good, very good point. That to me shows exactly how little respect for the franchise, respect for their audience, and respect for creativity Konami has as a company anymore it's frustrating it's frustrating because they used to put out amazing stuff and i don't know who has been responsible for most of these decisions but they have been terrible 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 mismanagement decisions that have happened for like the last 10 years at that company luke Luke, what are you doing with your life (laughs) seriously um i i can't it's it's this trailer is so disappointing so disappointing well it is just a trailer though <laughs> but it's again though but it's a trailer that makes it look so generic like even so many people i know are like i've never played metal gear but i do know that it's not supposed to look like resident evil yeah, <laughs> you know I'll give me that 
Yeah, and yeah. like everyone's like, well, wait, this looks like Resident Evil. Did I just watch Resident Evil trailer? Like, no, no, you didn't. It, <laughs> it, it does. It looks a lot like Resident Evil. It looks a lot like... Uh, you know, uh, the uh, Last of Us. I mean, you know, it, it, it. The Last of Us was even more than just the survival, just, just horde shooter. I, you know like, what? Honestly, you know, you want to know what I think? I think that those zombies were probably leftover assets from PT. And what this feels like is a ham fisted attempt to take all of the assets that were made for the Fox engine and compile it into something usable. And it's a mess. Like, you see it, and it's just, it's a fucking mess. But that would make sense, though. Like, oh, like, well, we spent this much money. Like, that's that's totally a decision that a corporation would make. We've already invested X million dollars in Fox Engine, and it didn't end up panning out because Kojima, it turns out, has artistic integrity. And so now we've got to figure out what to do with it. And, th- it, you know... To me, this seems like the extent of the Konami dev team's talent. Like, this is the most that they could do. Ugh. Which is sad. Oh, no. <laughs> I mean, because... I just... I don't know, I, my, my thing is that, like, you're right that they're not rebooting any other franchises, and I feel like if this is how they take Metal Gear, none of these other franchises have a chance. Yeah. <laughs> like, they're gone, they're dead, and if they ever bring them back, we're going to get something like this. Yeah. It makes me very sad for Suikoden and it's never happening. And my soul has been crushed. <laughs> I, I mean, it is really, it is pretty definitive that we're not going to see anything it, close to... Anything good from Konami ever again. Y- yeah. I, 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 it really, I mean, the, Man. The, this really does see. I mean, these, these we knew... Naysayers. Oh, it's <laughs> weird hearing Nika say stuff like that. I'm like so disappointed that like the only semi decent and i say semi-decent very liberally here game company right now is like square enix mm. i feel like all the other companies that we've loved i mean square cd project red but they're not american Bethesda. i feel like every other Bethesda, yeah. game Bethesda's company Bethesda, Bethesda, Bethesda's track. pretty good too yeah. okay yeah, i'll give you that who said it 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 who was it god damn it do i really need to throw you out of the fucking room Oh my god, how could you even say something that irresponsible? <laughs> I feel like with they're, EA, BioWare, Ubisoft, like they're just Konami, they're all just falling down the drain. Oh, absolutely. And it's it's kind of scaring me for the future of gaming at this point. Well, cuz it doesn't see like everyone said, well, it, don't worry, indie developers will be able to mm. to pick up the scraps and and be able to pull the weight for an audience that feels like they're not being uh targeted by current game companies and I don't think that's the case. Well, I think this is how you would see an indie developer become the next generation's large-scale developer. Like, like the, for that to happen, some of the old developers have to go by the wayside. Like, 3D Realms had to disappear before someone else could step in yeah, and take you're their right. place. You're, you're right. Who's the developer making uh, Fractured Butthole? <laughs> Ubisoft? It's, I actually no, don't know who they yeah, are. Yeah, I think it is good. Ubisoft. What? They're, no. they're good. No, they're not. No. When they when they stopped making Prince of Persia to chug out a uh, Assassin's, Assassin's Creed <laughs> every year, no. Yeah, so that, they're making a go game play every Assassin's year. Creed Unity and then come back and tell me how awesome Ubisoft, Ubisoft is. Ubisoft is making yeah. an Assassin's Creed game every year. That's a lot of gameplay not right anymore. there. That is so many. Yeah, games. not not anymore. anymore. Yeah, such game. God. But they're gonna make a boatload of money off of much South Creed. Park. Oh my God! Yeah, they are. Oh yeah. Yeah, they are. Uh, so, uh, it, it, and now I want to, I think we're done with the Metal Gear Do you want to cleanse a palate with an email? Uh, no, I actually want to pivot now to.